G'day Michael here, I've been busy working away. There's a number of things in this video I'd like to cover. Here, this is a very cool, it's an orthotic uh, designed for you know, support of your feet inside a shoe. Now, I'm printing some draft ones out of a, uh, you know, just PLA, but ultimately I'll probably be printing it out of uh, TP or something a bit flexible, so it's good inside the shoes. The designer, which looks to be Scott Nettleton, I downloaded this from Thingiverse. Very cool setup here, he's, he's done a nice job. Uh, basic parameters, measurements of the feet. Um, he's got some pretty snazzy code, sort of semi-digitized and semi-manipulated curvature and so forth to produce that. And once exported, I'll have a look at a slicer, give me a second. Wrong slicer, that's something I've got in the Delta. Here we go. Now, I say a draft print, but because there's four top and bottom layers, it's actually still quite a dense part. It hasn't got that much space in it. I'm trying to make it as hollow as I can, but that's just not going to happen, that hollow. In any case, the first ones I printed, like with the Black Widow, um, were around about the four hour mark. Now, that's, um, you know, probably the standard sort of print speed for most um, Cartesian printers. Let's have a look at my um, little G-Tech and see how it's going. Okay, it's 54% through and it's done 29 minutes. You can notice the feed rate there, I've got it set to 302%. Now it's 302% of the parameters I had on the previous 0.4mm tip of the regular hot end. So the hot end I've developed here is actually doing its job well. And there's a few design features here I'll show off a little bit. Um, I've got a course of Volcano a heater block and a 40 watt element and you can see between the heater block and my sort of uh, support structure it's a lot like a cube there there's a thin layer of something or other that's actually printed circuit board it's the kind that you used to be able to etch it's left over from ages ago it's about one and a half millimeters thick and it's got copper foil both sides and it's basically there to minimize any transfer from the heater block to the the back support. So that fan there is blowing in on the front and you can see the port on the side. There's two ports, one on either side of that, that grey block. It looks like a big heavy lump but in fact it's just a, uh, like a one millimetre skin in a cube and I think about maybe 10 or 15 percent solid otherwise. So there's a lot of air in there. It doesn't actually weigh much. It's a very lightweight structure. Okay, and one addition I've made is I've printed up this cooling cowl with a centrifugal um, fan so the print job is actually cool I find when you've got very flat angles they want to cool up in fact you can see a little bit of curling on the far end just there um, so I'm, I'm running that uh, cooling fan constantly but it's not costing me any um, hot end temperature at least nothing that I can appreciate even with the very fast throughput of the volcano the 40 watt elements having no trouble maintaining temperature. Now I'm running the PLA pretty hot, but that's because I'm really belting the material through. And it's a way of getting the stuff to go through quickly. Of course, the other part of the fast extrusion is the, um, the volcano uh, tips are actually quite a long melt path. So they're very prone to oozing, which is the downside, but the plus side is you can really belt some material through it. So if you've got just volume of fairly robust and primitive parts, you can really get the job done pretty quickly. As you can see, this thing's belting around. What is that? I mean, that's a 210 millimeter square piece of aluminium. So you can get a bit of an idea of how fast it's getting across the parts. Maybe we'll see a longer sweep in a second. No, that'd be right, right now it's not. It really is getting along. You see it's really getting through the material pretty quick. Now I don't think that um, it would get through two kilos in a 24 hour period, but as you can see there through the feeder, uh, it certainly uh, would get through one kilo in a 20 hour, 24 hour period. And you can see it's going to start consuming. If it does longer straighter moves it makes this thing turn, I guess a little bit under a minute to a full circle. It's not really going that fast at the moment. That's why it's doing little fill. 
lot of acceleration and deceleration. Anyhow, that's certainly getting along. Now, uh, for the Black Widow, and actually for the Core XYs that I'm working on, I bought some drag chain and I found that uh, I'm using far shorter lengths than I had planned. And so I've had to make new ends. Anyhow, in my Delta, I've got a couple of those parts printed. Now again, this is printed with a 06 millimeter tip, but the hot end's one of the shorter blocks. It's not as deep as the Volcano. So the speed limit on this guy is actually the hot end. Somebody on the track, when this thing actually plays up, I'll switch it out for a Volcano with a 40 watt element. Uh, but while it's working, uh, I'm gonna leave it in peace. Now I reckon this thing's gone through about 10 or 12 kilos since I've had any trouble with it. It's been a great, reliable machine. I'm kind of expecting it to play up every five minutes, but it doesn't, it just works. I'm very, very satisfied with this printer. Now you can see this print, it's a little bit daggy. It has a few bit of stringing across between prints. But when you consider that's a 06 millimeter tip on these tiny parts compared to my finger, you can see the tiny parts. It's actually done a great job. And yeah, I guess for that scale, you can see how small the parts are. So the holes are quite looking through. Looking flat through there put something behind. You can see that, um, see that then? they're pretty pretty good round holes. Sorry about the shakes. Pretty hard to show that. Yeah they've done pretty good round holes, a bit of a dag in there, but it's the holes themselves actually work quite well. I just clean them out with a, a appropriate drill bit. In any case, well, that's it. Um, yeah feel free to like, share, subscribe, ask a question, leave a comment. Bye for now.